Hello. Um, in this video, I'm going to show a very specific problem which I find very interesting. I want to get advantage on this game. I don't have time anymore, as back in the day, to play this game, 60 hours of this game, to level up my characters. And also in this game, these characters die after after a while and you have to start again, so yeah. I don't have time. <laughs> I have time for that. I want to get advantage. So I know that, for example, we have here we have the stats of this character. Uh, I know these values have to be stored somewhere in memory. So I want, in this video I'm going to describe how to find the memory address for these values, change these values and see if we can get some advantage. Um, in this case, I'm taking advantage that this is a PlayStation game, so I'm going to use an emulator uh, because emulators tend to have full access to the game memory. So, I don't. so it should be straightforward. In this case, I'm using an emulator called Bizhawk because it already comes with good tools to inspect memory. Um, and other tools to inspect the internals of this several systems, in this case PlayStation. So I'm going to try to increase the offense, this third parameter, which has a value of 70. So let's just go into it. So there's a tool here called RAM search. It's going to search on memory. And I'm going to search all the memory addresses that have a very specific value in this case 70 equal here uh, about the size um, I know these values can be higher than 255 so this means it cannot be stored in one byte so it could be two bytes or four bytes uh, let's go with two bytes if it doesn't work let's we'll just try with four with four bytes but the, I didn't expect these values to be as high so let's put this value 70 and search and it's very common to get a high amount of addresses. Um, so we need this list of addresses to get smaller. How do we do it? Um, we are going to change this value, the value of the, of the fence, and we are going to search across these 500 plus addresses, which ones change to this new value. So I'm going to change it and a few of these addresses are going to remain 70 and other ones are going to remain to change to the value that we see in the game. The way that you do it is by training. So now the new value for offense is 78. So usually memory search tools already have this built-in so if i write search with this new value 78 it's not going to search on the whole memory space it's only going to search on the current results so every time i press search the list should be smaller on each search so yeah this is nice we only have one address one address i'm already happy if i get a list of five or less so let's confirm this value this memory address is the right one for offense, so we can change by poke, use the poke function. Let's change this value, and yes, we can see it changed in real time. This is good, um, this is good because it will depend on how the game is uh, programmed. Uh, in some games you will see that this value changes automatically because the render reads directly from memory but maybe sometimes there are some caches or the, these values are saving temporary variables um, so sometimes you need to save the game and load the game again and then you will see the space the, the change value, it, it depends on the game but in this case it's nice that in Digimon world the value changed immediately so yeah, that, that's it. Uh, I'm just going to show now something extra. Where I'm going to 
make an assumption that these other remaining values, defense, speed, and brains, HP, and MP, are stored in the near to each other in the memory. Uh, my assumption may be wrong, but it, it makes sense in the way that people code things or how compilers may do it. So let's do it. So we're going to search this memory address on the whole memory space. Uh, So let's go to that memory space. So here's the whole memory and here we can see the values changing in real time. Ah! I moved too much. Yeah, and we can see my assumption is correct. Um, because here we have offense one, 123, defense six, 66, speed 22, and brains 30. I don't see these val the values for oh oh no actually yeah HP and MP are not are not next immediately next to the values that we found but yeah these values are here below. So even, yeah, yeah. So here we can see like this memory address, um, the hundred ninety is the current value for MP, and six. This other one is the maximum value for the MP. So let's, let's play with these games to, with these values to confirm. Yes, I increase the maximum value for MP. Hey. That, that assumption it may work for you and save you some time so you don't have to repeat this manual work for every single value um, so yeah, yeah this 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 method will give you a good start uh, with playing with with the memory of, of games and yeah thank you uh, I think something that we like to explore later is that this was a very manual process and the simulator has support for scripting with a programming language called Lua so maybe we can make some tools with Lua so I don't have to search things by hand and maybe we can make some interesting tools um, so okay, thank you